Welcome to another special edition of the Home Growers Gardening Series brought to you by Private Property. And today we're going to be talking about the Tower Hydroponic System with CAS, um, just to let us know how the system works. Uh, slightly similar to the NFT Hydro system that we aired last week, but I believe this one is um, obviously much smaller, it's vertical, and CAS, Tower Hydroponics, so we're definitely seeing a tower in front of us. How does this one work as opposed to the NFT Hydro 60 pot? system okay so very simply as you've explained it quite well actually <laughs> so the nice thing about this yeah it's for smaller space okay. it's I think it's well suited to somebody that wants to get into hydroponics for the first time yeah that has never experienced it but they know and they've heard lots about it and mm -hmm. they want to learn so I would highly recommend that the first time user something like this is spectacular yeah. and you can grow almost anything in it there's nothing preventing you from what you can grow because yeah. the mere design of it you know but the the size of it is 20 pockets okay. so you've got 20 different vegetables that will grow in your herbs and vegetables so you're mm. not restricted so you cannot believe what will come out of this mm. you know and as i said so by makeup of the design so if you look at this, you've got all these pockets here. You've got 16 pockets all down the side. Right. And you've got and the four. More here. And yeah. the four on the corners. So if you look at it, and I'm going to try and explain, if you see the structure, you've got depth in the reservoir okay. versus individual depth where the pockets will go. So if we take a net cups as an example, they're going to basically plonk into the sides of yeah. the uh, of this horizontal, uh, sorry, this vertical tower. Yeah. And um, these guys will sap up the nutrients from the water but i'll explain how the water gets there firstly mm. but be before we get to the water uh, distribution if you look at your pockets that are in the bottom left hand or the right hand corners of this reservoir mm -hmm. they are ideal for the the deeper rooting vegetables that grow so for example if you can picture a tomato bush growing now as you've seen with tomatoes the root system is quite aggressive it's got a big big rooting system that mm. loves to take over mm. so you've got depth here so if you had a picture that you see this massive root system growing is ideal for tomatoes okay. eggplants and the like but you can put anything there but chilies growing yeah. you name it versus on the uh, tower, tower itself but it'll do well yeah i think what i'm learning with all these uh series and episodes that we've been having with home growers is that all your systems within home growers pretty much allows any type of crop to grow into it, you know, to add a bit of diversity, a, a, a crop selection, and obviously we want a huge uh, vegetable and food selection in our plates at the end of the day. So I think this is quite fantastic that you're coming with innovative ideas that are ideal for small spaces, for large spaces, patio, garden, uh, anybody can grow their own food at home using various um, structures. So um, I can specifically see on this tower hydroponic system that there's that same pipe or tube coming in, right? And when we have these pockets inside, then how does then the water or the roots feed into the nutrient system when it's vertical like this? Okay, very easy. Mm -hmm. So if you look in this and uh, you'll see you've got that, that pipe in the middle. Yeah. Okay. That run right down into the reservoir, okay. connects to the pump. The pump sucks in the water and the nutrients and it pumps it all the way up okay. to the top of the section over here. Mm. In this top section, there's this cavity. This cavity is filled with stones, with clay pebbles. As that water gets to the top, it hits those, it breaks up and it trickles all the way down like rain. So if you had a picture of rain outside and you sat there and rain hitting you, mm. it's the same concept. So you have this trickling down of different splashes of water yeah. and they'll start hitting all these little neck pockets, all these neck cups, uh, as the water starts going down. And remember, it's not just water, yes. it's water fused with nutrients. With nutrients so yes. as it hits this, it hits the pebbles, it fuses with the pebble and it provides nutrients to the plant and the plant then grows. And that's what's special about it. What's lovely about the Tower Hydro in terms of this concept versus a typical 
concept where some people try and manufacture at home where you've got a plumbing pipe and they got it as a horizontal system yes you can never get you maintained because the mere nature in terms of how the cups are or the pots have been designed and cut for for pipe for purposes where here you can take your net cup out you've got easy access from different points yes. to be able to manage and maintain your roots which makes it so much easier to work with. This is a fantastic system. The roots ultimately will grow down okay. and will feed through, hold a lot of moisture, mm. a lot of nutrient content in the environment that it's created. Mm. And what will happen is the nutrient, the, the, the excess nutrient that will run off will land back into the reservoir mm. and continue its circle of life all the way back up, break up on the top and come all the way down again. Wow. And that's basically what happens. Yeah, and different to the NFT Hydro system, um, this is obviously a, a, a person comes and buys this, they don't need to install it, right? Because Correct. it's already kitted. Correct. The only thing that they need to put is the cups, the pebbles that we have here, um, and then you have your seedling. That's is that exactly correct? as simple as that. It's and then you pack it in. And I think maybe just talk, talking about maintenance, which you've mentioned, it's, it's you really take out the cups and clean it. Do you have to use any specialized brushes? Not at all. So that you could clean inside? Nothing no, at all. You're never going to. So one thing again, remember you're dealing with plants, you're dealing with dust, you're dealing with nutrients, you're dealing with anything. It can go outdoors as well. Yes. So that's the lovely thing about yes. it. So you must understand, there's water splashing. You know, you're going to get all that. So you're going to get markings on this. Yes. Just take it down cloth take a take a cloth with a little bit of a rough edge onto it mm. just step yourself and wipe it down just with water mm. there's nothing you don't ever use chemicals just keep it as it is mm. the nutrients that are supplied with it you just use it again once every three weeks just like we spoke about in terms of the other system in terms of the nft system mm. every three weeks you put your nutrients in mm. you may have to fill it up on a regular basis because as your plants are growing they get thirsty as well mm. and this heat as we're feeling right now mm. the water is uh, is absorbed by the plants and the plants are growing and as a result, you're going to fill up with more water. Right. Going back to nutrients, because different crops require different feeding schedules, right? Um, do you sell nutrients here at Home Growers, specific where one could use the nutrients in these specialized systems? Or do, uh, does a customer just come and buy the tower system with the seedlings um, and then they'll have to find their own nutrients? Or do you have pep any nutrients that you could show us that would fit well into the system? So we do nutrients and we supply a wide variety of different type of nutrients. Okay. Remember, whatever you buy from Home Grows, if you walk out with this kit, yeah. we give you a kit fully inclusive of everything you need for home. Okay. So that is a, a supplied. Your nutrients will probably last you for between three and six months. So you well looked after for a very long period of time. Yeah. And then you can come back and you buy your replacement nutrients. Yeah. Remember, it's either the soluble, okay, yes. or it's the liquid. So yeah. the options and the choices are yours. Yeah. So even on that growing program, you know, like I said, there's different crops in the different tower system that require different nutrients. The nutrients that one would have to leave with, is it standard nutrients, uh, uh, like an MPK, or is it just normal feed that a pepper plant can consume, a tomato plant can consume, uh, a lettuce can consume, and maybe a basil? Um, is it just standard for all the ty it's different type of plants? It's a standard, uh, it's a standard okay. uh, soluble nutrient that has been specifically geared for hydroponics. Okay. So it's, it's got all the essential nutrients required for mm. proper vegetable growth. So it's been well structured, well put together by scientists. Mm. Um, it's used globally in terms of a hydroponics rollout. Mm. So it's something that's tried and tested. Um, and it is uniquely uh, positioned for hydroponics, which is special. It covers everything that you need. Mm. So you don't have to tinker. That's why when we talk about calibration, we've calibrated the nutrients to such a level that you just follow the simple recipe. You put that much in with water, shake it up, pour it in there. That's all you've got to do for three weeks. That is it every three weeks. Mm. So there's no hectic, hectic work involved in terms mm. of getting your system running. Yeah. And that's what makes it so special. We don't want people to go home and stress and worry about how to get their systems running and then they worry about pH levels and they worry about yes, easy, try and yes. keep it simple we must make this easy for people because if we look at the tower hydroponics specifically this has got to be your starting point and if a person falls and, and and doesn't succeed on their first attempt on something like this the chance of them wanting to get into something bigger so what's important to note with a system like this mm -hmm. we make it so easy for the person to succeed that if they had to have failed yeah. in deploying and using a tower hydroponic system such as this would be less likely to want to try something bigger. Yeah. That's why all our systems are so easy to use. There should be no questions around how to use it, how to set it up, how to grow with it, how to maintain it, how to feed your vegetables. We keep it simple.
Yeah. This is an easy system to work with. Right. So let's get the system coloured up with um, some crops. Okay. Um, so what are we doing? We've got our seedlings here, we've got our pebbles here, we've got our cups as well, and we have some of our nutrients. So let's say I've just purchased this system, where do I start? So there's water inside the reservoir, okay. and what you're going to do is the nutrients are obviously inside there as well. Okay. And we basically then take all our vegetables, or herbs yes. that we and have. And these firstly are the nutrients. Those right? are the nutrients, correct. So that, do you put in one whole bottle no, inside no, or is it teaspoons? So in your kit that we give you, we yeah. give you a calibrated bottle, okay. which has got a line marking on it. Oh. And you only fill to that level and then the rest of water, you shake it up and you pour that solution that you would have created into from this, this into the reservoir. Got it. Simple as that, it is really that easy. Right. The trick here, in which I highly suggest is that, and recommend, is that the corner units go with the bigger plants. So like here you've got some tomatoes. Tomatoes okay. and the chilies, I would definitely put in the in the corners. So your basil can go in there. So let's just find your tomatoes and your chilies, which is always a fantastic option this to put in. Tomato. That's a tomato, that is beautiful. Great. And the reason why I put them in the corners is that if you, because remember these guys grow pretty big, right? Yes. That what you want to do is you want to give them support. So you can use alternate structures to give this whole system support. Yep. And the structure can be either bamboo, and you can use string or tape just to hold the bamboo rods in the corners Got that it. the plant will grow against that. So you want to give it the easiest and the best mechanism of success from the beginning. So you need a plan. So you've got to look at this and go, so okay, in three months time or two months time, how is my beautiful Plant tower hydroponic going to look? Yeah. So it's pointless putting this guy up there <laughs> or whatever it is, or yeah. put your tomato here and it grows like that, blocking all of these. So that's the, the, the challenge here in terms of where you want to get to. So here I'd put like, for example, there you've got aubergine eggplants. So you want to put that on the top. Um, okay. Your beautiful basils can go anywhere. Your, your okay. ch chilies I'll even put on the side here because there's a bit of space for them to grow on the corner side there. Okay. And then we just start filling up the rest with all the different herbs. You take a whole variety of what you have to, to, to display and get this thing set up. It is really very simple. And as the little pebbles start falling out, the clay pebbles, don't stress about I'm it. Getting just worried. pick them up. Yeah. No, don't worry about that. <laughs> then we just put them in afterwards. So okay. then once we switch this on, and you'll see the water will start flowing, it'll be remarkable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill the top here with some clay pebbles. And I've still got that uh, extra bag that I kept aside, yep. which I'm going to use just to fill up the clay pebbles on the top. Because remember, right. that is the mechanism that when the water starts to uh, run through that sensor pipe, it's going to hit these clay pebbles and it's going to break up and it's literally going to rain down on the veg and the herbs that you've got inside here. Making it rain. I That's like right. the sound of that. <laughs> and, here, and let me tell you, people come through and they go, ah, oh, that is amazing. This is like a water feature. I mean, it's amazing. I sit in my house and I hear this water trickling. Mm. It is so soothing. It is really something very special. So we've got that. We're now going to plug this in and okay. you're going to see something special happen. There we oh, go. Hear the, you can hear the water. You can hear already. the water. And then if we open that and you have a look inside there, you can see oh, the water's wow. already dropping, yeah. dripping through there. So it is actually making it rain, that's sprinkling, right. you know, onto the... And that's the rich with nutrients already. And you can see through there how incredible Absolutely. that is. Absolutely. And that is the magic of a tower hydroponic system. Yeah. And we have shipped these all over the country.